Welcome along. Sir Keir Starmer is tanking and so is the Labour Party. The nation has buyer's remorse. The latest polls show that Labour are down to 30%. The Tories, who don't even have a leader or any policies at the moment, are on 26% and reform are now at 19%, their joint highest rating ever. That means that in the last few weeks, Labour has already lost the equivalent of 65 seats in Parliament. Keir Starmer's personal approval ratings are in free fall. 44% of people are dissatisfied with him. That's his worst ever rating. And things are set to get worse for Starmer, because remember when he and Rachel Reeves said stuff like this? We will not raise tax on working people. No tax rises for income tax, for national insurance, for VAT. We will not raise income tax. We will not raise national insurance. We will not raise VAT. Labour has no plans to increase taxes on working people. Well, 56% of people think he was dishonest about tax rises. 56%, which means when Labour keep trying to say this... Things are worse than we ever imagined. In the first few weeks, we discovered a £22 billion black hole in the public finances. And before anyone says, oh, this is just performative or playing politics, let's remember the OBR did not know about it. Well, it turns out the public simply don't buy that, and he's in big trouble if fuel duty and inheritance tax go up. Why? Because 59% of people think a hike on fuel duty is a tax on working people, and on inheritance tax as well. More people think that's a tax on working people than don't. But it's more than that. Two-tier policing, two-tier justice, the rush to demonise people as far-right racists, the cronyism scandal which is now actually being investigated, by the way. The idea that he has inept people around him, like Angela Rayner and Jess Phillips, who has recently claimed she got better health care because she's pro-Palestine. The pensioners' winter fuel allowance cut, not in the manifesto, won't get a vote in Parliament. Ignoring concerns on immigration, cosying up with the deeply unpopular German leader and Emmanuel Macron to dispose of Brexit by the back door, nanny statism, banning smoking in pub gardens. It's going to be a long five years under Labour, but if these polls are anything to go by, Sir Keir Starmer won't be in office for all of it. Let's get a thoughts my panel this evening. I'm a broadcaster and journalist, Carol Malone. I'm also joined as well by journalist and commentator, Benjamin Butterworth, and the former chairman of the Conservative Party, Sir Jake Berry. I'm looking forward to shimmying on over there now, I think, and getting their views. Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, Carol, I will start with you on this. So... Do you think that Keir Starmer actually will last the full five years? No, I don't think he will at all. I don't think he's going to last the, the rest of this year. I don't think I've ever known... A, most prime ministers, when they're, when they're just voted into office, they get, they get a honeymoon period. Starmer's had no honeymoon period. This is six weeks now, and we've got, you know, more than half the people in the country saying uh, that he's making... The poll last week said two-thirds of Brits believe that, that Labour believe more in helping themselves than their allies than they do the British people. Uh, and, and when you... That is unheard of. And, and I just think, you know, he's got it entirely wrong. You know, that stuff you just saw there about, you know, we will not impose taxes mm. on workers. Unfreezing the fuel tax, you know, people will not have been clobbered in that way since 1997, since the last time Labour were in, uh, and that was between 97 and 2010, when they increased fuel tax by a staggering 46%. If this man had the vaguest clue how the economy worked, he would know that, that road transport is, is absolutely essential to the economy, and diesel is the lifeblood of transport, and he's actually going to clobber people who would make money for mm. this country. He's going to wreck growth. He has no idea how it works. And, and I just think to misrepresent, to misunderstand the people who voted for him and socialist people who voted for him, you know, the, 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 the pensioners, that's a massive mistake. Mm. This is an even bigger mistake, the fuel tax. Yeah, well, we just have a look at those polls. You know, 
Um, the idea now that Labour are down to 30 per cent, Keir Starmer's dissatisfaction rating, you know, the worst it's ever been. I mean, he's not had an opposition. He's not even been in Parliament yet, really, has he? I mean, this is astonishing stuff, Benjamin. No, I don't think it's astonishing at all. I think yes. it's, it's what you would have expected when you think about the kind of serious issues and the mess that has to be dealt with. There's another poll in there, of course, which is conveniently what? not mentioned, which is that when people are asked whether they choose a Labour government or a Conservative government, two-thirds said a Labour government. And I think that tells you a bit more depth about how people feel if they were really going to change parties. Are you pushing, well, the, are you, are you, leader, yeah, are you pushing this but... dire situation line, you know, where the fastest growing economy in the, East, in the G7, you know, sterling is at an all-time high, inflation is 200 percent. What's dire about that, Benjamin? Tell you know, me. I, I don't think you need me or you to tell people because they voted very clearly in this no, way. No, they didn't vote. But the a they, of them voted very clearly. The fact, the fact that they feel considerably poorer than they did in 2010, the fact that house prices are out of reach for anyone under 40 if they're in a big city, the fact that people's public services are at breaking point. Uh -huh. People know that's how bad it is. And what you have is someone that is giving uncomfortable truths rather than comfortable oh, lies. And that is why he's in the situation. <laughs> and the only way he's going to win the election... Well, tosh. arrogant, smug toffs no, like Sir Jake Berry... He's laughing at your nonsense. People like Sir Jake Berry punch this country into a ditch. When you lost the argument, you start playing the man, not the ball. Well, you're the man that put the country in a ditch. What I'd say about Keir Starmer is that I think he's been found out. The British people are not fools. They voted in a Labour government because my party, the Conservative Party, exactly. made a spectacular mess of it and they wanted to get rid of us. But actually, they realised that they have been sold the sort of the, the pup in the bag. And when the Labour Party says, we will not increase taxes on working people, but then look set to increase something like fuel duty, which hits every working person in this world mm. going yeah. to the office, it puts up bills. Even bizarrely, it puts up things like the price of new houses because you've got to put diesel in diggers to dig holes to build houses. You need to put diesel in the trucks to deliver bricks to building sites. It has a massive impact across the economy. And the British people look at that and say, we were lied to. You told us you wouldn't increase taxes on working people. This is hitting us in our pocket every single day. And that's why Keir Starmer's and popular because the British public don't like being conned and they don't like being taken and for a fool. And, it, and I think that's what these numbers show. They don't show the Conservatives are massively popular. Mm. Is that Keir Starmer is taking the public and for And remember, right. be before the election, he was banging on about how the Tories had, uh, had imposed the biggest tax burden since World War II. What is he going to do with all yeah. of this? And that same poll that I think you might have quoted before, not only if, uh, does the, the fuel tax um, involve workers, people also think the inheritance tax is a mm -hmm. tax on workers too. So, you know, he's going to hit everybody. There's not, there's not a section of this country that he's not going to hit hard. The thing is, the people who will not recover are the workers. The people who will recover are the very rich because they can either afford it or they, they'll bog off somewhere else, which is mm. what's happening. I mean, that's Already. nonsense because inheritance tax, nonsense. for example, is only paid by 4% of estates. The Every vast majority year, of people... So when you add that up collectively, that is actually yes. quite a lot of people. The vast... Quite a lot of money. Well, yes. if you're in, a, if you're in a, a marriage, then it's a million pounds before it kicks in. So, you know, that's not a lot of people uh, that have million pound estates, certainly and not people if you live in, in the North East and North West where lots of the seats were picked up. And the truth is that I think people understand how hard it is. I think if he stood there and said, I don't know, there's going to be sunlit uplands and nothing will be difficult, then people would be cynical. Well, and if in five years... He's got a tax-free pension, hasn't he? From when he was at the DPP. Yes. So he's, he's got a tax-free pension at the moment. That was a remarkable uh, state of affairs that managed to concoct that for himself. But he's perfectly, well, there's but he's a perfectly specific, willing to call um, the pension. There's a specific parliamentary, there's a piece of secondary legislation. We actually actually passed legislation in yeah, this You country. did that. To to give, no, it wasn't give, us, actually. Um, to give him a tax-free pension. To give him a tax-free pension. And yeah. when we decapped... It, well, it might have been, but it certainly wasn't me. When we decapped... The amount of people, ordinary mm. people, could put in their pension, which was actually seeing doctors leaving mm. the profession in droves. Of course, the then government should have taken the opportunity to remove the tax-free status from Keir Starmer's pension. We didn't. Well, he's not that doing is a mistake. Is that shouldn't be getting it's it. It's interesting. It's a bit rich to criticise Keir Starmer for something a Conservative-led government did. Well, he's the one who negotiated it for himself. It's also interesting. But it only happened because, well, why doesn't he give because it up? Conservatives why doesn't he give voted it for it. Rishi Sunak's wife, love him or loathe him, even though she was non-domicile, an Indian national, voluntarily played tax in the United Kingdom. Did she... But, she 
whether you think that's right or wrong, or should have paid it for her, she did. She voluntarily does it. Why doesn't Keir Starmer voluntarily give yes. up his tax free okay. pension okay. at the and same well, time I think as he he's should... hammering poor pensioners? And he's winter... taking away their winter fuel allowance. He's, he's not hammering poor pensioners. Of course he is. He's going to die. He's, 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 hammering, he's hammering 70 year old millionaires that are strangling oh, this yeah, economy. Can I just point out, apparently, except you? Well, almost 30% of pensioners are millionaires. This is what Okay, but can I just point out. Nonsense, if, Benjamin. If, if Rishi... They have a house that may be worth close to a million pounds. It does not make oh, them a millionaire. I'd choose so, that. So what should they do? Just to you, be clear, you, I'll, I'll take a house worth a million just, quid and I'll pay my own... You're going to be to buy so, a house, so, so not, stop it. Not a million quid and house. I understand pension, the point, though, if I may. And if, sorry, sell right. the home they're in? Should they yes, sell the they home should. they're in? Yes, they should. Yes, they should. So they still live in a little house... A house appropriate size. Yes, there we have it. Yes, they should. Socialism Britain, you'll be moved out of your house because you live in too big a house. The Brit point is with pensioners, in a they're on a fixed income, yeah. which is a pension, whether that's the state pension or a <laughs> private pension, they have no ability to increase that fixed income, and that's why things like fuel price inflation Matters. hits them the most. And that's why the Labour government, mm. the Labour government, introduced the winter fuel payment, not mean tested in the first place, because pensioners cannot increase and the their state, income the state they're on a fixed income. The state of the, of the financial well-being of pensioners is radically different to what it was 20 no, or 25 no, years it, no, ago. No, it is not. It is, because you, you, you see that in that... Do you know there are two yeah, million You weren't around in World War II, but there I'm sure are, you still talk about that. There are two million pensioners in this country that depend on the state pension alone, nothing else. And do you know how much that is a month's pension? Have you any idea? It's probably what you'd spend on a weekend out. It's 750, 800 quid. Boomers in this country for a month. And never mind boomers. Boomers in this Stop country have had a better subject. deal than anybody else. And oh what God, Keir Starmer understands you? is that you cannot have a country that gives money to people that have paid off their mortgages, that have Why comfortable lives. Meanwhile, well, yes. every, everybody, well MPs that? vote on the budget and, and it's He's obviously a part said, of that. So, so it does get a vote. And just vote. to say, if Rishi Sunak's wife wants to give back the 20 million quid it's thought she benefited from being non-domicile, then when she does that, I'm sure Keir will pay some tax. She did voluntarily pay tax. Why doesn't Keir Benefited Starmer by about 20 give million pounds. his tax-free, gold-plated pension in the state, you know, while he is ripping the winter fuel on our... Well, let's check, your, let's check your voting record why and see if you voted for it. Why won't he allow a vote well, on the I winter fuel allowance? Benjamin. No, it was a... Why won't oh, he allow right, a vote right, on enough. the winter fuel allowance? Because he's a well, coward. Well, if he did, he'd win it. Because he knows he's wrong. No, he's oh, not a coward. Well, on that note, on that note, everybody, we'll put a pin in it. Everybody has had their Weetabix this weekend and they've come in raring to go. Would you love to see